if you don't stand for something, you will fall for anything. Tammy C. Walker, the owner of Dreams Are a Reality, I created this channel to provide light and love. How are you all doing out there in the world? <laughs> Can't say in the Chicagoland area because you all are everywhere. If you don't fall, sorry, if you don't stand for something, you will fall for anything. And one thing we must do, I don't care. I don't care if you are timid, if you are fragile, if you are meek and humble, if you are loud and boisterous, if you are arrogant, <laughs> If you are whatever you are, always stand up for yourself. I had something happen recently. I'm still exploring different career options. Um, ultimately trying to get my clinical license. Definitely going to open my own practice. But, and I'm going to get right back to my topic. Opening my own practice, it definitely is going to take some planning and I'm going to seek out some professional help, um, you know, with my financial stuff, only because of my age. I really want to properly be ready for retirement in 17 years, however many years I'm going to do it. I'm not even 100% sure. I just want to be, you know, comfortable. So, um, anyhow. As I seek out these different avenues, I had a conversation with someone who I was asking, you know, it was an interview about his practice. And right away, I could tell this guy was going to be arrogant. Nothing new for me. <laughs> Not that I've been dealing with that all, all my life. All my life I had to fight. And... The guy towards the end of the interview, which was cut very short, um, and, and maybe that was on me because I was looking at the ad. And when I went back to look at the ad, it was gone. You know, how Indeed takes the ad down after a while. And I couldn't find exactly the job description. But it, I, I'm assuming, he, you know, I'm going to give him that. It did say part time and it'll build up to full time. So he kept saying, well, <laughs> That was in the job description, and he said it again. Well, you know, if you had a, if you had a saw that, if you had a read that in the job description, okay. So now you you taking digs at me on the interview. We were on the phone, and towards the end of the interview, he went on to say, "Let me give you some future advice," and that's where West Side Tammy Sharice Walker said, um, "Sir." I don't even know if I said, sir. I said, I am in my 50s. I know how to get a job. First of all, let's let's just back this choo-choo train on up. This is how I look at stuff. I'm not servient or I don't never feel like I'm beneath anybody. It could be the owner of a company. It could be the CEO. It could be whoever. I'm going to say good morning. I'm going to say good night. I am always going to treat you with respect. But what you're not going to do, you are not going to talk down to me because that is not how I present myself to others. Now, I'm not no angel. I'll say this on many videos. I'm not saying I'm perfect, but I'm very respectful and polite. And I'm like, first of all, I am in my 50s. <laughs> I wouldn't care if I was 20. And I have been working since 1985. And if you talk to any of my friends or family, they're going to tell you Tammy can get a job quicker than anybody I know. Anybody. <laughs> I do not need advice on how to get a job. And it's like, it bothered me a little bit. Not really. <laughs> but what did bother me, seriously, as a social worker, as a therapist, I always feel like we are in this field to help. And and. After COVID, I hate to keep referring to COVID, but it really did change a lot of things. And as a black woman, 
And I, I'm going to always say as a black woman because I am. And I know my community, we are not that big on mental health. It's been a taboo for us to go to therapy. Um, you know, we were raised like this. I know I grew up in the 70s. We never, we never talked about no therapy in the 80s, therapy in the 90s. Go see a therapist. It was not talked about. So as a black woman, I can be possibly, and I am the first therapist that people of color, and I am I honestly, as a therapist, I have all nationalities in my practice, you know, and that come see me, clients of every background come see me. And as a therapist with multi cultural clients I have to show up as my best self so what bothered me about him was that I'm like man I don't think he's being mean to other clients Lord please no I just hope not but what I was concerned about is how he treats his staff and he has a nice size group of um, clinicians under him and that was just that bothered me. I said, I bet he mean to them. I bet he's talking down to them. And I feel like in my field of social work and therapy and health care, we shouldn't be doing that to each other because that's a tough field. And, you know, I'm listening to problems all day. The elderly during the day, I just had a client this week, a member, 100 years old. I could speak on that because... It's not like my client, client. It's more like, anyway, anyhow. <laughs> but 100 years old. Um, and then, you know, in the evening, that's when I do my therapy. And it's a tough field we're in. So I think we need to uh, rally around each other and be supportive. Um, I remember when I was looking for my therapist. And she was, like, so excited that I was a therapist. She was like, oh, my God. I would love to be your therapist. We have to support each other. I'm like, man, yes. I don't know. The world is not poly sunshine. I know nothing's perfect, but man, you gonna try to you gonna try to get jiggy with me on the interview? That's what that's what we on now. So I want you all to always, always, always stand up for yourself. I don't care. If you are buying a car, I don't care if you're buying a house, I don't care if you're in a restaurant, you're getting bad treatment. If it's a relationship and someone wants to mistreat you, be like, "Mm -mm, I'm out. And not just love, not just a love relationship. A friend want to be mean to you, you're at dinner, they're being rude and disrespectful. Just say I'm out. I remember this is when Facebook kind of first came out. One of my dear friends, I tell you, if she did that today, she'd be sitting at that restaurant by herself because I almost walked out that day. We together. We used to eat a lot together. We used to have a good time. And um, this is when Facebook kind of first blew up. And she's sitting at the dinner table on Facebook the whole time. I, and I said, I said to myself, I was like, girl, you should go to that washroom and leave. I, and if it was if it was 2022, I would have walked straight out. I wouldn't even went to the washroom. I would have said, well, since you don't want to pay attention to our, our conversation as friends, I'm going to leave you in your phone. And I'm going to go and, and, and just give you your your time that you need. Because don't let nobody treat you like that. And I know y'all probably said, she petty, 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 petty. I, I, I'm actually not. But I just believe in respect. And if you don't say anything, this is what you get. Crap. People, they will give you crappy crap because that's what you accept. Of course, we're going to have trials and tribulations. We're going to have confrontations, ups and downs, ebbs and flows. That's the flow of life. But that don't mean I have to eat crow all the time or I have to always be at the bottom. No. Nah. And do it. I don't care if you're scared. Well, Tammy, I'm kind of scared. Do it scared. (laughs) Maybe your voice might be shaking a little. Maybe your tone might be a little low. But stand up for yourself. And the reason why I'm doing this podcast today is because you'll feel better about yourself. It improves your confidence. 
you feel empowered when you stand up for yourself. You, if you're a parent, your kids need you to stand up for them. Don't let employers treat you bad. I'll tell, I'll tell employers exactly how I feel, and I'm, I'm never belligerent. It's always, well, you know, actually, I don't agree with that, or all due respect. I always do it respectfully. Or how do you feel about that? You know how these employers do these surveys or they might ask your opinion? Give it to them and tell them the truth. Tell them the truth. Don't worry about losing your job. Easy for me to say, huh? Sometimes we got to stop worrying about that and stand up for ourselves. If you have faith, you believe in God, you're not going to be losing your job because you're taking up for yourself. All right. I hope I made some sense. And... You know, drop me comments on what you think about standing up for yourself. Hit that like button, hit subscribe. Thank you so much. Bye-bye.